Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I'm going to jump right into it. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and Yahweh have not done it? Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And that's what people need to understand that the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, controls good and bad. Whether it be evil in the city or whether it be good in the city. And as we know, all things were given to his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He's the mediator to the new covenant to the Israelites, the Lord's people from the chosen sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Which today that consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations due to us being scattered around the world due to our disobedience. As it is written, as you see, he revealeth his secrets to his servants, the prophets, before anything is done in the world. That's why the prophets are out today prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great, which or spiritual Egypt, which America is spiritual Egypt or Babylon the Great. This kingdom is coming to an end. Satan's kingdom, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, as it is written, and I'm going to get it, Job chapter 9, verse 24, it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges there. If not, where and who is he? And as we know, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, Satan in the flesh, is the descendants of Esau, Edom. Jacob's twin brother, Israel's twin brother, the so-called white man. As it is written in Genesis 25 and 25, he came out red and hurried like a garment. Because they're not white, they're red. And we're not black, we're different shades of brown. They received a curse during the time of Cain and Abel. When Cain killed his brother Abel, they have the spirit of Cain. And they came back as Esau, Edom in the past generation when they sold their birthright to Jacob which is the progenitor of the Israelites, the 12 tribes. But, like I said, this kingdom is coming to an end. That's why this devil is coming down with great wrath because he know that he had a short time. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants. As we know, woe means destruction of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil is come un down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's why he's pushing the New World Order, the NWO. they trying to make it a New World Order. And basically, just control everything. They want to be as if they're the most high. But as we know, that's not going to happen. Because... The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is going to send his son, Yahweh Shah, to destroy this kingdom before that comes to pass. But as we know, the prophecies have to come to pass. And one of the prophecies that to, has to come to pass is that they're going to try to push that M to the O to the T to the B, the C hip, that they want to insert in people's hands. When they make everything digital, they're going to try to deceive everyone to take it. But as we know, only the elect is going to basically not be deceived because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to have the spirit on them to not take it whether it be unto death I'm going go to go to get to Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 it reads and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand of their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or, or the name of the beast or the name number of his name. And like I said, of course, most likely two thirds of our people, if they don't die by the sword, which is, as we know, the modern day sword is the gun or any form of weapon or by beasts, etc. Because we know their spirits created for vengeance. They have, like I said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have control over all spirits so basically if they don't die by those most likely they're gonna take the 
the M to the O to the T to the B. When this wicked devil says that, oh, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have it, they're going to make it seem so convenient. Oh, you can open your car door. You can open your front door with it. And, you know, a lot of people love technology, especially in this generation. So they're going to think nothing of it because they're going to be see deceived because Yahweh Shem Yahweh shot and put the spirit on them to understand. But like I said, in the first in the first um scripture I read, I'm going to go back to it. In Amos chapter three and verse six, I mean, seven, like it reads, surely the surely Yahweh power will do nothing. But he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And that's what the prophets are out doing on these internet epistles and on the highways and byways when people walk by and think that basically they don't pay attention. They they think it's just a joke. Oh, these guys are fools. But as we know, we are fools for Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're fools for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we really don't care what they say. We know that these things were written before time for our learning. So we understand that spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets but i'm gonna get jeremiah 28 and verse 8 it reads the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and evil and pestilence the prophets which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophets shall come to pass then shall the prophet be known that yahweh have truly sent him and as we know from the elders of the apostles of great millstone on down of the men teaching the same like mass doctrine have been preaching about these pestilence for years before it came to pass even as about, about the um you know the 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 c to the nine to the to the one to the nine <laughs> yeah when that came out when flu all of a sudden disappeared basically yeah they've been talking about these pestilence that, that was going to come before that and then as we know the c to the H, to the I, to the P, which I spoke about in Revelation 13 and 16. They already been talking about that was going to come to pass, and that was considered the M to the O to the T to the B, that our people are not supposed to take because, as we know, it has to be inserted in the flesh. And as we know, that's one of the laws, Leviticus 19 and 28. It reads, I'm going to get it. Leviticus 19 and 28, it reads, You should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. So we know that's one of the laws. We're not supposed to go against the laws of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And we know this a commandment that if you receive that M to the O to the T to the B, that you'll surely be put to death when your house shall returns. So the whole fact of this lesson is that the prophets are out speaking what's going to come to pass and the things that we're not supposed to do to basically disobey Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because we understand according to the scriptures the things that are not pleasing to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that's why it's written in Isaiah 33 and 6 this wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our time because this knowledge of the scriptures is what basically could preserve your soul during that time of judgment so we must stay faithful unto death and pray Pray without ceasing that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah keep the spirit on you to avoid disobeying them, to offend less. Because as we know, we in this captivity, so we're rehearsing the righteous acts. But we, because we can't keep all the laws, but certain laws we can keep, like not eating pork, um, getting a shape up, shaving your beard, etc. We, it's, it's certain things that you can't keep. But like I said, we're under grace, but. You're not supposed to will, willingly sin. You're supposed to keep the laws to the best of your ability. And no, we can't keep all the laws. But as we know, like I said, we're supposed to keep it to the best of our ability. But I'm on a plantation right now. I just want to make a quick hit. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. 
I also want to give a double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, teaching rule well with truth and sincerity, who I learned from daily, Lord willing. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.